Guys, Euclid Gamer back here with you again. Today's video is going to be the unboxing of a fourth generation 2015 World of Tanks gift set from Russia. Let's go ahead and let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty guys, like I said, this is set to be, or is supposed to be, the fourth edition. That's what it is, not generation, but the fourth edition, and I believe it was that came out in 2015, special edition gift set for World of Tanks. It's supposed to come with a premium and slightly, a pretty rare tank um, along with it. It's supposed to come with a lot of different goodies, including a coffee mug, mouse pad, just all kinds of good stuff that I can help decorate my good, but you know, needing repainted desk, as you can see. This is the desk of Euclid. It's nothing too crazy, just a lot of World of Tanks stuff along with Halo. So, most of what you see in my room is World of Tanks, Alien, and Halo. And I know it's random, but that's just the stuff I like. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. Getting started, you obviously know the box art. It's got a Tiger on the front, the Tiger 1. And uh, I'm not going to get into it because if you're watching this video, chances are you're a big World of Tanks enthusiast and or a big tank enthusiast, which is safe to say you probably know more than me. Let's just say I'm new to the party, but very interested. I've been wanting one of these. I saw one available online, caught in contact with a guy who was selling it because he didn't want it. It was packaged, took a chance. Here it is, bold and brave and stupid, whatever you want to say, but we've got it. I'm going to stop talking now. Now, everything's in Russian, so for those of you that are Russian or understand it, if you want to put what that means in the comments, you are awesome. In English, of course. And there's the back. I know it's kind of a glare because of my umbrella lights, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you there. So it's supposed to come with a World of Tanks leather coaster, a mouse pad, a poster, a rare tank code, which I believe is the Panzer 2J. We'll see. I'm not going to be able to use that. And that's fine. I'll see if Wargaming can possibly transfer that to a code for me. But if not, that's okay too. I mainly wanted what came with it. So I'm going to shut up and we're going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, there was already kind of a rip in the outer layer. But this is, I can tell that this layer is still kind of factory sealed. So I'm not nervous about it. As long as it includes the physical items, I don't really care if it has anything like the code. Be cool to have that code because I kind of like rare tanks in the game kind of douchey of me but I'm not that experienced of a player anyways so it's not like I'm trying to overwhelm people with you know just better tanks and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to take the lid off but yeah there's the rest of the box art too as well a lot of signature German tanks on the side it looks like the leopard there yeah it's just gonna premiere those in the tiger on the front so this is bet to be supposed to be a German themed uh, gift set box. I'm a little groggy. I've not had my coffee yet, but I got a pot ready for me when we're done. So I'm going to be careful what I show you guys, because if there are those of you in Russia, I don't want you using my code. <laughs> no offense. It's just that if, it, if I can find a way to use it, I'm going to. There is the code. And yeah, I'd have to scratch it off to use it. But yeah, there's the code for the Panzer 2J. God of mercy that it still exists. There's the backside of it though. <laughs> yeah, I'm a douche. Okay, well first thing that we can notice coming out is these little things are all just sticking out here in the mug I see. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. It should be a reversible poster. Let's try not to rip it. That's awesome. So yeah, this is obviously a bunch of German artillery. So for you uh, self-propelled gun players out there, there you go. I know it's not a good picture, and I desperately hate when you know, posters get folded. I've got a folded poster on my wall that I just need to move onto a wall that you won't see. It's my EVAGA poster, but that's pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, German uh, self-propelled guns there. But on the front, I'll, I'll definitely have to try to iron this out or get it framed because I really like the poster. Is our signature tiger. I love that. I mean, I love World of Tanks. The game has been so rewarding to me, and I've honestly put a lot of just about everything into the game. So I feel that it's been rewarding. So this basically is a universal band that you can use. I'm not sure what I'd use it for, but maybe if I went to some kind of con, because I go with those very rarely or occasionally, go to some kind of Comic Con or a Tricon maybe locally. But if there's nothing World of Tanks related nearby. So if I would ever go to an event or travel for a World of Tanks event, I would definitely take this with me, and that's going to be included. This is cool. 
It doesn't feel like it's got like some kind of hard inner layer, but it's got like a leather outer layer, and it's a World of Tanks uh, a coffee mug coaster or a drink coaster. I'll try to use it as little as possible, but uh, you should use what you have, as long as I treat it right and don't you know use materials that are going to damage it and be okay. So there we go. World of Tanks mug. I know that this is old and there are probably other unboxings, but I don't know if there's any unboxings in English, which is hilarious because we won't understand half of the stuff we get. Oh, okay. It's really tiny, but there's a uh, a World of Tanks pin for you guys. That's funny. Yeah, I really like it. I uh, There's so much World of Tanks stuff in here. Stuff that I don't need. Yeah, focus, camera, focus. I need a better camera, but we're going to deal with the hand we've been dealt. This is the mouse pad. Good lord. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it on my desk. We'll uh we'll go ahead and uh we'll do it maybe last. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous in size. Yeah, I almost exited there. My bad. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that first. Okay. Good lord. This will solve my problems. I'm pretty sure it's a mouse pad, yeah. Or a place for me to eat dinner on. I don't know. It's freaking huge. I mean, basically, these are the kind of things that you buy if you really like something. You don't just buy them because you think it's cool, because then you're not going to feel like it was worth it. That is awesome. Is that the Tiger 2? Definitely looks like a, uh, yeah. I'll set it to where it's facing you guys. So there you go. Tiger 2 on a uh, rather tundra like map, or Siberian map almost. Just a very winter escape. Wargaming.net. Let's battle. That is nice. This is going to look so sharp just keeping it here. And now I'm, everything is kind of turning World of Tanks except for my uh, uh, Halo Wars mouse pad that I got in the Halo loot crate. That is so cool. All right, let's move on to what's next. So, setting this on back on top, you notice this is a World of Tanks coffee mug. And, uh, oh, look at that. It's got the low on front there. So there, you're gonna get all kinds of different German themes with this thing. I know it's fairly rare, so it might seem pointless, but obviously there's a picture of the low tank and some kind of, I don't know if the image can be washed off easily or not, but feeling it. And then if you notice inside, there's the actual uh, uh, war game. There's the uh, World of Tanks shield inside. There's nothing else inside, but that's really cool. I like that. That's really nifty. I'm, I'm a big coffee mug person, and all my coffee mugs are geeky. Like, they're all video game related. I'm going to set that down before I throw it and accidentally break it. For a fit of joy. And this must be the do-rag, I'm guessing. The bandana type universal wrap. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to use this, but that's alright. Maybe if I actually had big strong arms, I could put it over my bicep. No. Horrible joke. But that's cool. I mean, this is probably the this is probably going to be my least favorite item of them all. But it's cool. You know, generally speaking, I could probably, like, wrap this around my head for warmth or whatever. Or just take it with me to a convention. But that's that's nifty. I like that. But, yeah, you can see the design is pretty universal on all sides. It just says World of Tanks. has the kind of the cliche symbol, but in color as opposed to your standard black and white outline. So, that's cool, though. I like it. It's You should always be happy with the stuff you buy. And uh, I am. I like it. Pretty nifty. Now, what is this? The hell is this? Oh. I don't know if this is, says name that tank. But, uh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know. It just says, yeah, name that tank, I'm guessing. I, 
I don't want to assume stuff. So guys, if you know what that means right there, feel free to leave that in the comments. This is almost a useless unboxing, but I got it, and I figured I'd put it on here for those of you, the few handful of you that watch my uh, average taker gameplay videos, which I do plan to do a third one soon. I've just been more preoccupied with Halo Wars 2, which has been a blast, and been catching up on my Alien series and Resident Evil series. So... I've actually been doing fairly good so far. That's kind of cool. And obviously it's going to suction cup to a wall or something. And then this says World of Tanks. And I'm guessing that's roll out in Russian. I know. I'm kind of ignorant. But I'm obviously not from that part of the world. So, so I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I know what I'm talking about. So generally speaking, is there anything else in here? I wouldn't think so. No. Definitely going to keep the box though. I like the box. The box art's amazing. So, uh, so yeah, guys, um, that's generally speaking what you're dealing with. Poster, this, instructions for how to use the World of Tanks do-rag, I guess, and uh, leather coaster, and then tank code. So, I don't know typically what these prices they run at in these things. I'm assuming it's 100 or less, maybe, um, which is about what I got this for. Feel free to judge me. I work, I work for my money, so I'll be the dummy that spends it on probably useless stuff. But that's okay. I've gotten to a point now where I can afford to. Um, but yeah, that's what you get with the gift set. And uh, always remind yourself that if you're disappointed with what you get, if you guys have watched one of my previous videos, you will know that I have recently started doing an unboxing series to... Oh, there's the pen. Can't forget that giant item. <laughs> Don't forget that... Uh, I on those as well the box art on a lot of these things is really nice so I'll definitely be keeping that and the fact that it's in Russian it's just a little different I, I guess I like that and some people might think that oh you know you think you're special no I just really like when items are kind of authentic I guess so yeah I plan to make use of that I like the coffee mug I have another world of tanks coffee mug that says uh, in Russian it says uh, tank does not fear traffic jam <coughs> But tank does fear dust. So, that was nice. No, I like it. It's everything. The poster's really nice. I'll definitely be setting up for the tiger because I plan. I already have the tiger P, but I really want to get the original tiger because I hear it's universally a really good tank. I've never used it. Higher tiers are kind of uh, anomaly me. So yeah, but it's pretty cool. That's what that's what all comes with it. I can't believe that that's an actual code for the Panzer Two J. That's 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 awesome. I thought that's what came with it, but. No, I like it. It's a gift set. You're paying for exclusive items that aren't typically made a lot, but I know that there are some sites, which I'll try to find a link to the Russian site that sells items similar to this if you guys want, and usually you can translate the page over to English, but I don't know if you could buy it or not. I'll leave a link to that website in the uh, description below. So yeah, that's what all you get with the tank set. You get a nice poster with SPGs on one side and a Tiger 1 tank on the other. A guess that tank, which that looks like the extremely powerful, only carries 12 to 13 rounds. I don't know. It's a big tank or SPG, but it's ridiculous. And I know that it's in the British tech tree, I believe. So yeah, and then World of Tanks roll out. I just like that the items look different. That's To me, that's really cool. So I don't know what's special about this inner boxing layer. I don't think anything is. But if you look on the inside there, it looks like the inner workings of a barrel. I don't know if that's supposed to be that, but there's nothing on the other side of it. So, regardless, pretty cool. Not a lot in there, but you're you're told what you get with advertisement. They tell you what comes in it, so there's no lying, no false advertisement, and you get a pretty rare tank code. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna see if I can't get that code transferred over if Wargame would be willing to do that. And if not, I'm going to let them do what they will with it because I can't use it. But guys, that's what all is included in the uh, in the uh, set. SPGs, heavy tank, and it's all about German. You got the low coffee cup, which makes me want to get the low because I hear it's a really good sniping tank. Really good heavy tank for sniping. And uh, yeah, that's what's included with the entire set, guys. If you guys liked the video or <laughs> did not, be honest. I'm, it's not going to hurt my feelings any. I just like doing these because if I figure if I buy these... I should share with you what I get with them. So, that was long enough, I think. That all is what is included in the set, guys. So, uh, 
yeah, until next time, guys, um, if you like the video or want to see more random unboxings by me in the future or you like my other videos, feel free to subscribe and see more videos by me in the future. But until next time, guys, I'm Euclid Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next video.